Hi, um, today we're going to look at uh, recording a simple macro and playing it back. Now, the reason we'd want to do this is to take out of some of the tedium of repeated uh, commands uh, that you can just do in one, one click. And I'm going to use this example of uh, after straightening, straightening a photo, you actually want to uh, fill in all the edges, which is four or five steps, but it'd be much better if we could just do it in one go. So the first thing we need to do is get the uh, macro and library up. So if we go to uh, View, Studio, and you have macro and library here, select that. There's the macro record and uh, Studio. Uh, there's the library. And it comes with a bunch of predefined uh, macros, uh, but we're going to create our own one here. And it's pretty simple. So here's the macro. What I want to do is uh, clear that. So I've got a nice empty um, window. And basically, I've got a record, stop, and play. If I hit record, anything I do now will be recorded. Recorded. So let's do that. Let's just simply do that. Uh, we'll start recording. And the steps I'd take to do this um, uh, filling in of the edges would be um, first um, to rasterize and trim uh, to make sure that uh, the photo going outside the document is trimmed away. I would then want to select the uh, alpha edges. So under select alpha, select full transparency. And you can see here it's, it's remembering your commands. Then I'd want to grow the selection by, so let's say, two pixels and apply that. And then I'd want to edit and in paint the edges. And once that's complete, I just want to deselect and get rid of the marching ants. And that's basically what it, I want to do, but I do it, do it on a regular basis. So it'd be much easier if this was just recorded. So these are the steps we went through. And what I need to do now is basically add that to my library. Oh, stop recording first, and then add it to my library. So I'm going to call this uh, in paint edges and it will just go into a default category which is which is what we've got down here uh, I won't go into it any further than that at the moment just pick default right so now in your library I've already recorded it so I've got two but it's this bottom one here um, what I need to do is in history just wind back to the um, raster crop so as if Nothing has happened. And what I would do now is um, I can play that recording just as if I'd never done this yet. So all I need to do is just hit in paint edges. It's running through those steps and does a job in one go. OK, now let's just apply this to another photo. So I've got one loaded up here. And what I'm going to do is just raise the top for some unknown reason. So that's given me a, a, a invisible area at the top. And I just come down and just hit in paint edges. And job done. So it's just a basic introduction to recording macros and why you might want to use them to save yourself some time and take some of the repetitive work out of uh, photo editing. Thank you.